Hello, Brandon Bays. Hello, bonjour. Bonjour. Tell us about your, your latest book that you wrote with your, your husband, Kevin, that is called uh, Consciousness, the New Currency. So what is that new currency that you're referring to? Well, I'm referring to consciousness as a currency because we're at a time in history where there's been, in the last 10 years or more, there's been a lot of disasters that have been happening worldwide. What with tsunamis and hurricanes, and then we've had the the whole t September 11th and the Bali bombings and then the Iraq war and now the financial crisis. And it, it's gotten to a point where everywhere we look, we don't know where the next catastrophe is going to come from. And it always used to seem that these catastrophes happened in some other country to some other people. But right now it's getting very close to home. And a lot of people are out of jobs. And a lot of people who are in jobs are terrified of losing their jobs. And so it's a scary time. And what's been happening that I see in the journey work, that, and that's the name of the work that I do, it, it travels to 38 countries in a year. And, it's, and it, it is translated in 22 different languages. And so I travel 44 out of 52 weeks in a year. I'm traveling around the world all the time. And I see what's happening in our world right now. And people are re responding to this media-induced fear consciousness by shutting down, by being getting frozen and paralyzed, incapable of moving. They're holding on tight to their funds. They're at work, and they're so terrified of losing their jobs that they're not able to open up and get creative. They're not able to come access creative solutions and come up with inspired ideas and answers in a time where we need inspiration, in a right. time when we really need to get creative. Because yeah. our, our world is in peril, not just in terms of all the areas I mentioned, but also in terms environmentally in, peri in, pe in peril. Every area of our life right now is endangered in some way. Mm -hmm. And people's response to danger is to shut down. And so I wanted to write a book with Kevin, who it gives the Visionary Leadership Program. And he actually takes this the work of the journey into businesses, into governmental bodies. So, for instance, he's working with the Ministry for Justice right now in Canada. And so he's working with Canada's judges to bring consciousness into the workplace. And right now the greatest uh, three name, um, words in the English language, the biggest buzzwords are consciousness, integrity, and sustainable. And all businesses want to be known as that they, because we realize that the old greed consumption, this, con this, con this really con con real greed consumerism, it's what's brought us to where we are right now. And everyone's looking for a new way forward. And so this book was written to give you a way to clear out the shutdowns that you have and the way that we freeze when fear is happening. So to get to the root cause of the fear, clear it out so we can open into the unbridled freedom, into the joy, into the liberated love that is your own essence. And it's from this pure potential that you're going to give rise to inspired solutions, creative ideas, ways of moving forward in your life to create solutions at a time when our world needs it. Yeah. And so, so that was... How do you, yeah. how you define, you define consciousness? consciousness? I'm sorry? How do you define, how do you consciousness? define consciousness? How do I define consciousness? Consciousness is is the gestalt, it's the, the whole of the emotional and, and um, how does it define the word consciousness? Do you, it doesn't translate in French, is yes, it? Yes, yes, but I, yes. I, I do want for a sense for people that don't fully understand what consciousness is, because it can be an intimidating word. I would love to... Okay, so to decide consciousness, consciousness. It's, a, it's the whole gestalt of your being. So, for instance, if there's a fear consciousness, that means that at a, at a level of your being, in your heart and in your mind, your thoughts are around fear, your actions are based in running from fear, your life is lived in fear of fear. So it's the gestalt of all that is a fear consciousness. 
if there's a freedom consciousness, then that's where your emotions feel free and open, where you feel free to come up with creative solutions and take risks. It's where you are taking actions that are born from a more guided, free place. And what I'm literally welcoming people to do is get to the root of their fear consciousness. Mm -hmm. Really get to what has put that in place and go through a radical process of clearing, of releasing, of letting go, of forgiveness, of understanding what's happened. So as we clear out the lids and the lies and the shutdowns that have held us back so we can reopen into the natural talent, into the natural genius, into the natural creativity, and so that we can begin living from that, from that, and so that we can at a time when life will tell us that there are no solutions available, that when you clear out all, all these shutdowns, then you're able to get creative and find solutions. And uh, it's the kind of thing, like recently, I was giving a Manifest Abundance retreat. There was a man here who I was asking a question of. I asked him, you know, let's say you have a friend, and your friend has a business, and in this business, they're aware that these are times that financially everything's very volatile right now. Uh -huh. And they, they're aware they need to streamline their business and they need to get creative of how to create new product and how to get it out there. Because it may be that given this particular financial climate, their product's not needed anymore. It may be that, that they can't work in the old way anymore. And so as a friend, you're there to give them all the ideas of how they can do that. And the man said, I would have no problem. I'm a successful business owner. And he said, I'd come up with dozens of ideas. I can think of them right now, even as you're asking me the question. Then I asked him another question. I said, well, okay, what if it were your business? And we're in a financially volatile climate. You don't know if your product is going to be usable anymore or if people are going to be able to buy it or even if they'll want it anymore. You know that you have to streamline. You know that you have to come up with creative solutions. The man froze and started to shake. Uh -huh. And he said, Brandon, that is exactly what is going on right now. He said, my business is in peril. He said, there's danger here. I, I know I have to let people go. I know I've got to get creative. I, I'm terrified that people won't need my product. I'm afraid of losing my livelihood. I'm afraid of my, my employees losing their livelihood. And I'm completely frozen and immobilized. I cannot come up with one creative solution. Mm -hmm. And that by the end of doing the whole work that's in the book, Consciousness is the New Currency, we did the entire Manifest Abundance Retreat. At the end of that, he came to me, and we had done some vision questing and some brainstorming. He said, my God, Brandon, I have hundreds of ideas. I know exactly now how to open up, how to move forward with my business, how to be guided. My God, God knows I've had this business for 20 years. Yeah. No one can know better how to run my business than me. He said, but the fear consciousness was shutting me down to the degree that I was incapable of acting in a way that was creative. And I, he said, I'm on fire. And later I heard from him that his whole business took off in a whole new direction. He was able to keep all his employees and they started marketing a new product. And this is what I mean, that consciousness is the new currency, that if you can open up into your pure creative potential at a time when life will tell you there's no answers, that everyone's in danger, if you can listen to an inner guidedness and let yourself be inspired by that guidedness to take conscious action, then you can be part of the creative change our planet needs. And this isn't just, I'm not just talking in your businesses. I'm talking in your marriages. I'm talking in, in our environment. You know, right now, for instance, I'm, I'm sitting in an apartment where I'm looking at my eco-home that's being built just down the street. And our entire uh, business is a sustainable business where our, our, we have company cars where the people that work for me have cars that are the number one car of the year. Uh, for environmental reasons. And so there's ways that we can, all of us, be creative environmentally, mm -hmm. 
and in our business, in our personal lives, even with our our uh, our um, sports activities, on all levels of being, we all have what I call silent saboteurs, mm -hmm. and these silent saboteurs shut us down. And what the the consciousness, the new currency work does, is it helps you get access to these silent saboteurs and go through a radical process of healing and clearing so that you can reopen to the potential that is already here. And I always say no one can give you that potential. It's not a process of adding anything in. It's a, a, a process of subtracting away mm -hmm. all your shutdowns, your lies, your limitations, so that you can reopen to that essential guidedness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you see abundance everywhere in all forms because abundance yes. is not necessarily money, right? Absolutely, money is is abundance is an abundance of love, abundance of creativity, an abundance of health, an abundance of joy, an abundance. Yes, it's lovely to play with the play doh of reality. That's what I call the material things, but they cannot give you who you are. They cannot give you who you are. That what is happening is people try to, to accumulate all these things, to confirm who they are. And the truth is, who you are is, is actually untouched by all those material things. You know, here it is, you know, you, we look at the, um, at the movie stars, you know, and we've heard about them. We all of us had the belief that if only I have that perfect job, that perfect wife, the perfect family, the fame, the, the material things, then I'll finally get to do what I want in life. And then I'll finally be who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm going to suggest it's actually the other way around. That as you open into who you really are, that, that, that pure potential flows you into conscious guided action. And then that action leads to final heaviness. But it doesn't give you that, that those material things don't give you who you are. It's the kind of thing that these movie stars, they have it all. They bought into that old lie. If I have it all, I'll finally get to do what I want and be who I am. And we read about them, the ones that commit suicide, who overdose on drugs, who, you know, they, they, it's like there's no place else to turn. And so, and, and all of us have had this experience where, you know, you, you're at your house, you're young. The, the family gets the family vehicle, right? The family car. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's so much excitement. Oh, we've gotten the family car. And <laughs> everybody gets in and they go for the Sunday ride. And a chunk of those, there goes the doors. And yet two weeks later, you walk past that car and you don't even notice it. <laughs> and it's because it cannot give you the joy that you are. And so with this work, it liberates your natural joy and your natural potential, the natural talent, the creativity that's here. Mm -hmm. So you can so that you can live in abundance consciousness. And yes, be part of the co-creative dance of manifestation. So that yes, manifestation happens in your life. Yes, we enjoy having material things in our life, but they cannot make you complete. Mm -hmm. They cannot fulfill you. Fulfillment is, it comes from knowing who you are and living the truth of your own authenticity. Mm, and then those are, those are the extra added things. That's a message that is much, much needed right now. Thank you, Brandon, for putting this book out. You're so, so welcome. And thank you. Thank you. And I pray that people will get the book and read it. And really, there's a lot of processes in there that help you to not only open up into your pure potential and be guided by that, to take conscious action in your life, but in all areas of your life. You know, I, people, I just want to say this final thing, that people get on the health plans, yeah. you know, yeah. and they'll go to the gym every week, and they'll eat healthily, and they'll feel great. And then for no reason that they understand, they stop going to the gym. They stop being on their health plan. Or it can be the kind of thing that, that you need to ask your boss for a raise. And you know, you know you deserve it. And you knock on his door, open the door, you hear the boss's voice. And something inside of you goes, Ugh, 
I just can't ask today. And so what happens is you go back to your desk, eat another muffin, slog some more coffee back, and you go out that night to the, to the pub and the brasserie and you moan over a glass of wine that you didn't have the guts to ask your boss for a raise. We all of us have these silent saboteurs mm -hmm. that shut us down just when our potential is coming out. And what I want people to do with this work is to clear out their silent saboteurs, to awaken and open into their pure potential and get creative about how you can consciously create abundance in your health, abundance in your relationships, abundance in your career, abundance with your family, abundance in all levels of your life. And so the work is there for people to take, and uh, so I pray that they will read it and do it and use it. No, I, I definitely, I read it, but I definitely feel that a lot of people out of this will want to, to read it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.